Elvidova has got his first three points of the game. Yeah, and for the Hawks, they did end up with four All-Stars last season. And as you said, it was all about how they worked together as a team. Here's Jordan, finishes the break with a slam. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. And we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can cut that lead down. Curry kicks to Lowry. Screen by Ibaka. Curry attacking. Outside for George. And the ball travels on Ibaka. It was last touched by Ibaka. And you know, around the NBA, the league recognized the Hawks were a complete team. Everybody played their role superbly. The NBA named all five of their starters the player of the week last year in an unprecedented move. And the Hawks making a change here. Kirilenko's checked in. Knocks down the three ball. Kirilenko's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They might be named after a car park, but the Pistons had a rough go of things on the road. <laughs> they just kind of had to use it. They, they just couldn't stay consistent away from home. They couldn't. Only won 14 road games, and that number is not enough to get you to the playoffs. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Atlanta. And it's sent back by Pops. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. They retain possession. And to the ball out of bounds. Bosch touched it last. And Curry, here we go. And at last, they get one to fall. And guys, for the Pistons' bad road record, a lot of it was due to their poor start on the road. Only managed to win one of their first nine games, and that tends to take the confidence away from a young team. Kirilenko, the pass to Bosch. Six on the shot clock. Shoots the three. That one's good, and the Pistons lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Kirilenko. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why? at the three-point line. Come on. You know, the last thing I'll say about the Pistons on the road, typically you have to be close to 500 on the road in order to make the playoff. The Pistons won seven in a row at one point on the road, but by then they had fallen too far back. <laughs> Quick hands on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. And George, here we go. George missing again. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Chandler against Ibaka. Chandler dishes to Delavidova. Back to Chandler. Tries to hit him. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And here we go. The Pistons fast break. George with the ball. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a terrible reaction from the defense. Top of the key, Kirilenko. Back to Chandler, and he dunks it down. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on A shot by Lowry. Wide open. That ball's nice feed that time from George. 
George has got three assists now in this one. Outside Gordon. Off target from three-point range. And of course, Paul George, a lockdown and throw away the keys level defender, voted all defense first team back in 2014. And, and listen, I think we're all anxious to see him get back to the level he was prior to that horrific injury he suffered during USA basketball. And you know what? He's always going to have a chance to be the defensive player of the year. Let's just hope that this guy can get it all the way back because he is a true credit to our game. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. And Lillard gets to Jordan. Back to Lillard. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. He was all alone on that one. Irving's got five now. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Outside curl. Feeds it to Elijah Wan. On one side. Sends it back. The Pistons as Detroit retains possession. Detroit making a switch. Green's checked in. Green with a screen on Irving. Just four to shoot. And stolen by Whiteside. Lowry against Lillard. Just five to shoot. Shot from 12. Shot is off. Good work defensively by Lowry. Detroit's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. The shot by Curry, no good. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for one. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely... Oh. A punch to the jaw. This game as tight as it can be, and he pulls something off that we might not even see in the All Star game, Kevin. But Clark, I don't know that he planned it out too far in advance. That was one of those things that, that you know just happened. I think it was premeditated. <laughs> I, I really don't. I, I think that he's one of those guys that just plays off of instinct, and, and they don't mind him making those kinds of plays even in a close game. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. And he does it again. What can you say? The defense continues to allow him to get open out there. They've got to know that he can knock down that shot. Put somebody on him. And stolen by Whiteside. Ahead, here's Irving. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Irving's got four points in the quarter. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. The drive by Green, and it's tonight. A minute 42 left in the first half. Miller left side. Addition now to White Sox. Miller against Elijah Wong. Four on the shot clock. Baseline jumper. Again, the Hawks good for two. We know prior to last season, the Pistons handed the car keys over to Stan Van Gundy. He had some early hiccups, but overall, I think they're headed in the right direction. He's a proven winning coach in the NBA. And that one's good. Elijah has got eight points. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Lowry against Lillard. For three, another three for Atlanta. Well, with Coach Stan Van Gundy, it was a very successful first year in Detroit. He's a guy who's going to build around defense. That's been his MO. And Van Gundy has always been a defensive first type guy, Kevin. I mean, the last 30 years, he's has probably the best defensive efficiency for a career as a coach. And his teams always play with great emphasis on that side of the ball. Green, the pass to Curry. Beyond the arc. Rebound, Atlanta. Whiteside's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Back to Jordan. Cummings in the post. Irving. 
and we're through the first. Well, Damien, you guys were able to. It's the 2K.